Yeah, I'm gonna do it. This remote is getting worse and worse. Is it the okay, battery? There we go. There we go. Is it the battery? Go. It's it makes it more entertaining a it's little bit. It's because less and less people are believing in the bogey bros. That's how that's how it works. <sighs> well, I'm yeah. back. So I'm back Boom. to spice it up, baby. Brody, how is uh you've been on, you've been on the road? Anything cool happened? You got any funny stories of things that happened on the road? Yeah, I got uh, swindled. Oh, wow. Not not on Tinder, obviously, but I did get swindled into buying um, some rap CDs in oh, the yeah? Walmart parking lot. No, no way! Did you listen to it? So this is this is so, what yeah. I, tell us the story. I thought I was actually gonna be a good person, mm-hmm. and then I got bad karma, right? Mm. So I'm walking to my car. It's me and Jonathan Nicholson. He had to buy like a knee brace. I had to buy some like protein po- protein at Walmart. Uh-huh. We're in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Okay, yeah. walking to my car. See these two guys start approaching me. And I'm like, all right. And they've got, you know, clearly stuff in their hands. I'm like, okay, what's going on here? And they're like, hey, you guys want uh, you guys want some CDs? I'm like, what? <laughs> like, obviously, first, <laughs> first yeah. problem, what? Uh, he's like, you guys. Like, you guys a what? Yeah, oh. you guys want our uh, rap CDs? I Wait, like, like, you can feel the music in your hands? How does this work? <laughs> um, and so at this time, I'm feeling pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm in a good mood. So, like, I'm thinking in my head, like, okay, I'm going to be a nice person. I'm going to take these CDs. I'm going to listen to them. And if they're decent, I'll shout them out on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's a nice deed, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. So, I'm like, all right, yeah, sure. So, one guy hands me his. The other guy hands me his. And then I take a couple steps. And he's like, "Um, yeah, we're we're selling those for $20. (laughs) And I'm like... That's a great sales technique. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Put them in your hands. First. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, it's awkward. I'm like, um, all right. I was like, all right. Well, like, uh, so I handed the. I was like, all right, whatever. So I handed the one guy twenty bucks, and he's like, you, uh, you gonna get my friend here too? I'm like, oh, it's twenty dollars a CD, not for both. He's like, yeah, you're gonna get my buddy here too. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just gonna get one. I'm like, who wants... <laughs> Which one's the better one? I was like, yeah, I was exactly... I was like, who wants the $20? I'm not buying $40 worth of CDs. And he's like, nah, man, whatever. Nah, man, you take it. Jonathan felt bad, so he gave the other guy $20 Dang, for, for two CDs. Wow. So they each ended up getting $20. We ended up listening to it. Absolute garbage. Oh, Just, no. I don't want to hear it. We listened oh, to all no. 15 songs, too, on each, wow. on each CD. Wow. Now, we didn't listen, obviously, to... Like, yeah, com- yeah mm-hmm. like each song all the way through, but we got the gist of each one, and it was, uh, I'm a soldier. Give, give me uh, a comparison. Uh, like, what's the I'm rap- a soldier. What? I mean, one of them was literally just a Lil Wayne rock, uh, ripoff. Like, oh. the song sounded wow. exactly like Lil Wayne, but it was just him being like, I'm a soldier. Uh, uh, <laughs> a soldier in the hype. streets. That is an actual sales technique, because when I went to D.C. one time for a class a trip. in Kansas. There was a guy with handing out, he's, he's got these beanies, like these D.C. And, like, I'm not from the city. So, like, you're gonna you're all looking at me right now. I'm probably going to think I'm an idiot. Like, this happens all the time. But I'm not from, a, especially I'm not from a tourist destination city. So, you got this guy with all these kind of cool looking beanies that I, like, uh-huh. have, like, Washington, D.C. on them or whatever. And he's like, hey, I'm handing out beanies. You guys want beanies? Like, that's what, how he says this. I'm handing out beanies. Do yeah. you want beanies? You can't say I, stuff like that. I grab one. I take probably, like, no complaints. I take probably three steps. No, more than that. I want to say I got, like, 50 feet away from this guy before he, he hits you with the, hey, man, like, you got to pay for that. So, like... <laughs> That's their strategy is like, not only, like not only are they going to get, yes. So now they're making you feel like you almost stole something. Yeah. It isn't. What did I do? Handed that thing right back. Should like, we try oh, that? Boop. Should we go. try that on the disc golf market? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you, you want to try this new disc? Yeah. No, we're just, no, you yeah, say let we're handing out, it, we're just handing out discs. It. We're handing them out. You guys want discs? And then they start walking away. Like, can't wait to throw this. Oh, by the way, that's. Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> it, it's crazy. Like it, it, they try to make you feel like you're a bad person. They I was do. like, I don't want the beanie. I want to go to the Smithsonian. Have you guys ever seen like, the fake violinist? Have you guys ever had one of those? I've seen. Oh. You talking about whenever they're like plugged into an amp? 
with like an electric violin. Yeah, they, I've seen. There were some big stories on social media about like them going out and like they weren't actually playing music. We we had one uh, back in Dallas in our Kroger parking lot. That's oh, so there's a guy. Like, that's someone for the news. We, we had a we had a guy with an accordion in our Kroger parking lot well, that's here. Sick. Doing well. I might have been. It might have been. It might have been fake. Now that you say that. And then he got kicked out by Kroger. Kroger came out there. And I, kicked there's him a out. guy. There's a guy here that's played the violin before, like an electric violin plugged into an amp, and yeah. has like a backing track with him. But I know that it's it's not fake though, because I'm it's sure not, it's like of- it's just it's just bad. Like it's not bad. It's amazing, but yeah. it's just imperfect enough to where it's like it's not right. A gotcha. I get that. One time uh, at Sheets, there were, uh, when I first came to visit here for college, um, it was like. 10 o'clock at night probably and my buddies and I we, you could walk to Sheets from the campus so we walked to Sheets and there was guys trying to sell cologne I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys Mm-mm. and you we we get towards the front of the door <laughs> and it's like me and my three buddies and we're like all like young high schoolers and the guy goes you guys got girlfriends that's the start of his sales pitch <laughs> so now he's trying to make you feel like if you don't you're making you feel like, and at that time I want to say the answer for all three of us was no I know it was for me, but I think for the other two guys as well, no. We're like, no. And he's like, he's like, oh, are you trying to get one? <laughs> like, I <laughs> guess. He's like, well, hey, man, I got this clone. You guys want to try this out? Like, So now not only are we having a sales pitch done that's kind of sketchy at a Sheets at late at night, something is going to be sprayed on us, like yeah. chemical agent. Yeah. So I like, and at this point, I am not the person I, I am today. Like, I have zero extrovert in me. I'm whoop, straight by. Like I'm walking <laughs> yeah, directly into yeah, the store, yeah. so I had to catch the facts later. But like literally, these guys then spray these my friends with this cologne for them to like try it, and then like want to charge them for it. And I think they got out of it. Mm. Like I think eventually they're kind of like you know like they know they don't actually have you there. Yeah, like, yeah. You can call the police. We're right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they like they legit spray you. It's like if you walk into a Macy's and they spray you with a sample and they're like, that'll be ten dollars. Like, yeah. <laughs> so no, the street That's, salesman can be crazy. Have you ever? Um, I know I have. I've asked you this before, Trevor. So I don't know the answer. Brody, have you ever been to Charleston, South Carolina? Yeah, probably. Um, it's like there's a, really, a lot of history there, right? Yeah, it's a really cool like historic town. That's I feel full like, of, like I've done like a tour. It's full of like shops and stuff like that. It's very it's very cool town. I I like we grew up going vacation there all the time, but it's uh you walk through the city. And all these pretty old buildings, and you're Is just a really walking. good fudge place downtown. Yeah, yeah, Kilwins, and yep, a lot of there's a bunch. There. There's a bunch of other places. There's Kilwins. Yeah, all right, there's been. a lot of Kilwins in the world, but no, I've been there. Okay, it's but that um, one. Also, one. back in the day, whenever I used to wear those big brim fedoras, I used to get them from there from a store called Guru you should Brothers. Bring those back. No, I won't. I'll get made fun of. Well, yeah. But um, so anyway, so there's these kids, these little kids that walk around with these, like uh, they're like, like uh. I, are they wheatgrass? Wheatgrass flowers or whatever? They're flowers made out oh, of like yeah. the big tall grass oh, things. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you you and fold them like origami. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. And they just walk up to you and they're like, "Hey, you want a flower?" And then you're like, "No." And then they walk up to you, your significant other, and they're like, "Do you want a flower?" They just walk up to all the women on the street and say, "Do you want a flower?" And your cute little kid walking up, "Do you want a flower?" Uh, yeah, sure. You take it. And then same exact thing. Okay, that's five dollars. And then you're going to tell a kid, he's like, I'm saving up to get every, the story, every single time I've gone there, I've been going there for years is I'm saving up for a basketball tournament. And mm. I don't know how many basketball tournaments they go on, but hey, it's every man. time. That's it's every time expensive. we go. And it's been expensive. for years. So it's supposed Cal- to be an expensive basketball tournament. Kelsey gets a call. Kelsey gets a call yesterday and she's like, oh, I got to take this. I'm like, all right. She answers it. It's on speaker, obviously. And she goes, this lady goes. Kelsey, she's like, yeah, and she's like, um, she's like, are you, uh, I've got, I've got your uh, cookie dough here. And she's like, oh yeah. And she's like, okay, we're we're gonna drop it off for you. And she's like, okay. And then Kelsey was like, well, we're leaving, so like, is it in like a cold thing or whatever? And she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, okay, you can just drop it off on the porch or whatever. Hangs up the phone. I look at her like, what was that? And she goes. Yeah, so um, these. Uh, well, no, I first asked, how much did you spend? And she said forty dollars, and I said forty dollars. She's like, yeah, it's probably gonna be like these two tubs of cookie dough, and I'm like, what? I'm like, what happened Dude, while I was gone? She's like, yeah, these two kids came to the door, and I can't remember what it was for. It wasn't Girl Scouts. It wasn't. 
It could be anything. Boy Scouts. Well, it was. It was like. It might have been youth sports. No, it was. Yeah, but it was like Sally Foster. Does that sound right? I have no. There's idea what a that bunch is. of names of There's different something things of like where that. it wasn't like a sports team. I don't it know. Was like the thing that you would get like at your school yeah. to then try to so, sell. So yeah, you gotcha. you grew up in that era. Yeah. Like I was like kind of towards the end of the door to door era where people would buy like popcorn and right. like all sorts of things out of this big catalog. For most of the youth sports I played growing up, and then they would do it for school as well. Yeah. So they would hand you that sheet just showing you all these is prizes. that illegal because it doesn't about happen it, anymore because think about it like if you're that company aren't you basically just like getting free labor yes. from tons of thousands of kids yes, to absolutely. go out and sell your well, it's not technically <laughs> it's free not labor. free labor but the prizes are the so like because i i know for a fact that the prizes are whack because i did this Many, many, many times. I did it for youth football, youth basketball. I didn't even think about that I ever being school. like a scam, but that's yeah. 100% and a like scam. I, I, for certain <laughs> sports, I had to hit certain goals. Um, like they it kicked you off. Like you, It was something that like you needed to do. Um, and like luckily, I had a nice neighborhood that like I could go door to door in that neighborhood. It was a lot of old people. Money. And like I felt safe. It was no big deal. I just ride my bike around. Yeah. But it was funny because every year you'd get that sheet with the prizes and the like the the Holy Grail was going to be like an iPod touch or whatever it was. And like your eyes would light up and you'd be like, this is it. Like, this is how I'm going to get <laughs> this iPod. Like I, this is the best thing ever. Like they, and they would, sometimes they'd have a salesperson come to you too. And they'd be like, guess what? If you sell this much of this, what are you going to win? <laughs> Pull out from behind them an iPod touch or like an iPod nano or whatever. And, and everybody starts freaking out, losing their mind. Like I remember my football team, like literally like jumping around, getting excited <laughs> over this. And I mean, there were years that I sold like cookies. I sold like chocolate. I sold, I want to say I had to sell calendars at one point. And it was always people buying it out of sympathy. It was super weird. Yeah. I, like I said, I did this a lot and I like had to do it to a certain extent. And I don't think one time ever did I earn enough for a single prize of any (laughs) extent or at least anything I'd want. I think it's the greatest scam of our lives. It it is literally, (laughs) it was the greatest scam business. I forgot about that. It, it was like, and it it sucked. Like it, every time I had to do it, like I would dread it. Like after the fact of like realizing I wasn't going to like win any prizes, like it was awkward. Like you have to go up and just ask people yeah. to buy like, Hey, I'm selling blah, blah, blah. And like, these kids were good man. though. These kids were good because they hit Kelsey with the, we're only $40 away from our goal. And oh so that's, yeah. I had no sales skills. So, I was like an eight year old. But mm. Okay, so we come home and Kelsey, we we had La Coretta for the last time. Well, nice. not not last time ever, but like you know, our going away kind of dinner. Mm-hmm. And we come home and like you can what'd tell, you get? what'd you get? Mix Talavera, nice with Good a choice. cheese quesadilla and three tortillas. Wow, and then chips and queso. Wow. Standard. Standard I order. want that right now. Standard <laughs> that order. so good. Um, but as we're driving home, we obviously pass rookies. Or mm-hmm. like, you know, rookies is kind of just right there. Mm-hmm. And Kelsey's like, we've got cookie dough at home. I'm going to eat so much cookie dough tonight. I'm like, <laughs> all right, whatever. Heck yeah. And I, I can only eat like a few bites of cookie dough before I'm like. Whew. There was no refrigerator. There was no cooling. Oh. So the cookie, oh, the cookie dough just sat out there for three and a half hours. Oh, so it was just no. just a cookie. It's just as hot yesterday. I mean, we threw it away. Yeah. Also, wasn't two tubs of cookie dough. It was like a sheet that you would buy like in the store. Yeah, like what? Was it was forty dollars. One? Oh my god. One sheet. Because she thought she ordered. I because I asked her. I was like, "What did you order?" She's like, "Well, I ordered one thing of chocolate chip and one thing of white macadamia nut." So she was thinking it was like a tub yeah. of this, a tub of that. Mm-hmm. No, it was a sheet, and it literally says. White chocolate macadamia nut and chocolate chip. And it was oh just, my oh gosh, my. that's ridiculous. So I asked her, I was so like, funny. I was like, what are you more what are you more upset about? The fact that you spent forty dollars on it, the fact that it was only one sheet, or the fact that like it went bad. And she goes, It went bad. Like if it would have been at least if it would have been good. It been because at least she would have had cookie or whatever, dough. she still would have been like whatever, it's fine. But yeah, we got we got swindled that's by two crazy. she got swindled by two kids. I guess people that's ruthless. Should we start doing that though? Like disc sales, like door to door? No, like, well, kind of in the way of like, guys, we're only 10 orders away from hitting 10,000 orders. <laughs> it stays that way forever. But then you just like you keep see saying that, like, guys, we're only. Well, don't yeah. ever, don't you ever lie it. about it. Just say exactly how many orders to say. We're 10, we're 10 orders away from 2,362 orders. Let's hit it, guys. Let's get <laughs> Let's there. <hit> <laughs> I uh yeah no we'll just have people start selling like random boxes of chocolates and they can earn discs but they'll never earn one. 
<laughs> and, then, and we just get all the money. We, do, we have have a, a, do we have a YouTube channel close to a milestone? The reason it's also not as like the reason it was also legal, I guess, because like not only it's your fundraising, right? Mm-hmm. So like part of the money from the sales is going to the organization. It's a scam. And clearly, it's 100% well, clearly scam. it must have been effective because well, yeah, the organization you involved in a pyramid. Most scheme, scams right? are very effective. Right? Yeah. The organizations themselves, like let's say you're running a youth football league and you see the numbers, like you're like. Wow! If we do this fundraiser program, it's going to make us this much money guaranteed. You're not thinking mm-hmm. like you're not the one out there selling the stuff. Yeah. And the best part is too what would Whatever happen happened to car washes, man. For what happened to some like old you know school? Well, they still get, happen. They get, still happen. Get in there, get clean. Like, cause you're yeah. actually getting something in return. Yeah, you're well, like actually, actually getting working. Getting My basketball team sold subs and like pretzel sandwiches and things like that, and those were pretty good. And you know, because those were good enough that like making subs, it was like a local business. Subs? That was like a local business that that ran it. For some reason, that no, was like, like a local sub shop. For some like reason, that was like the most you PA do? thing. You, you, you bought sold like a it. Coupon? No, you sold like you like you would deliver then sub sandwiches to people. So you guys cool. DoorDash, pretty much. That's kind of cool. Right? Here's the thing. The funny DoorDash. thing was the kids who like came from the rich families. Their, they had to get out of jail free card because their parents would just buy the amount Enough that they needed of the thing good. and they wouldn't have to do anything. Yeah. And yeah, like, yeah. I would be lucky to get one sympathy buy out of like your family, my family, <laughs> and like maybe my grandparents, I could sell some to. Now, but if that, we were doing subs. But isn't that literally every, uh, Kelsey said, the, is it MLM? Marketing. Multi-level marketing? What? Multi level marketing? Yeah. Isn't that like no. literally. Multi level yeah. marketing. She was telling me. I don't know if I should say this on air. No. I think I should. Okay. All right, here we go. Multi-level Can't marketing wait. is like... <laughs> I think I should say it's it. It's basically a business where... There's no way this guy watches this podcast. You're incentivized Uh-oh. more to recruit than okay. you are to sell. So like you just There's a smoothie shop. Hey, Hunter. Hey. Welcome to the banner. There's a... Uh, really quick. I got I got to touch. I got to touch back on... Wait, the, how many people are in this... Oh, by the way, our store is opening... May should, 7th. May 7th. It's 3, a multi-level marketing. 3 p.m. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be selling discs. No, the door to door thing. Remind me, great. remind me of the smoothie thing though, because okay, this is, this is oh, a big I'll write it down. The door to door thing. Back to that really quick with the fundraising, because most of this was like charitable organizations. Like, uh, why do I have my headphones on? No one else does. Like, you uh, look so silly. like a school or a church or a church league or an AAU or like stuff that was like a five hundred one c three. So yeah. were these organizations let having the kids sell their products? Then getting the product revenue from the kids yeah. and then and donating, donating it, it which is a tax write off to so these organizations. Full circle. Because like, yeah, I mean, even more there's of a reason scam. it doesn't exist wow. anymore. And I think most of the reason is we because, all like, know the scam. I think most of the reason is because like, think if we had like a yeah. the disc golf club at the school and we we're like, hey, you know what? We'll give you discs. You go door to door to sell, and we'll give you guys twenty percent of the sales. And they go door to door. They sell all these discs for us. We don't pay them anything. Hey, if you sell enough discs, we'll give you a basket. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. You got to sell fifteen thousand discs. You get a basket. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. They all go sell, and then we just write a check to Bedford County School Systems, and then that's a write off. Sounds like Genius, we need, really. sounds like we need to cut Genius, this whole right. and start getting that's to the drawing what, board. That's what like companies are doing too, right? With like when you're like, hey, you well, want to yeah, ra- you want to round different. up? Is that is it this different? one? This one's just more hidden, basically. Yeah, it's a little more. It's covered. But the round up is the not, same, right? Well, except for they're not ask. They're at least like paying the worker that's asking you for it. Right. The roundup would be like if they sent this you to the one, parking lot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like donations for charity, and you yeah. bring it back in. You're like, hey, good job, bud. Here's a free cookie. Okay. And then they donate all that money. <laughs> yeah. The round. I mean, the roundup is a brilliant. <laughs> the roundup's a brilliant idea. Okay. Back to the multi-level marketing. Um. Okay. The smoothie shop. Smoothie shop. So, yeah. So yeah. What's Kel- the guy's name? Where does he live? What's his, his address? Name, but he he yeah, owns. So a should we tag him in this? He owns yeah. a smoothie shop in the area. Okay. Oh, here. This oh. area? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Oh. So, Kelsey, I don't know why she said she went there instead of Tropical Smoothie, but Kelsey goes there. I don't know any other smoothie shops. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I think I, I, I bet I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, Kelsey goes there. Oh, it's on this road. I don't, I don't whoa, know. I don't whoa, know whoa. I know, yeah, I know wait, where this place is. People know what road we're on now. <laughs> it's all we right. We have a check in. Well, I, I don't know this guy. Okay. Well, so I've she, never been in this She shop. goes in there and she's like talking. I think Is it this place? I don't know. Well, I would have to. I would have to. I, say I don't remember this place. Could be. I don't, I don't know. know. I like you guys all know all these smoothie <laughs> shops. No, I just googled it. Sudden. It doesn't um, matter. We'll find out. We'll eventually. find out later. So she goes in there. She's like talking. I think she's like talking about tropical smoothie or something. Because yeah. obviously, me and her love tropical smoothie. Uh-huh. And yeah. this guy's just bashing tropical smoothie, well, yeah. saying it's mm. terrible. Yada yada. She's like, 
even if I get half turbinado? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, still terrible. Tropical smoothie is definitely bad for you. It's not like, bad for a smoothie king. No. You got to go very healthy. Yeah, like, but I mean, it's, maybe, they, like, it's a smoothie. Well, yeah, smoothies can be very good for no, you. No, but if you make a smoothie at home, smoothies you can make are smooth. it really no, smoothies good for at you. home are good. Yeah, yeah. You make but it if you're buying, if you go to a store and you're no, buying a smoothie, yeah. you're never expecting it to be like a good decision. Well, that's, well, that's not, not true. true. Well, you can make good. If you go to like, you can make good stories. If you go to like, if you go to like, you go to you like, like good Millie's, good store they're not adding. But then they suck. No, my dad knows how to make a good smoothie. Well, yes, that's at your house. No, you can make a good smoothie at your store. He does both because you can. You, yeah, Hunter, you can, why do you think they can't make a smoothie, good smoothie yeah. at a store with no because added sugar? Like, if you go, it's I'm possible. Saying, I've had like them. Once you've had the smoothie, if you walk up and you order a strawberry kiwi breeze and you taste it the way they make <laughs> yeah, it, well, and then you're like, all right, but let me get that the healthy way. You're like, this thing sucks. Well, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, one yeah, of them yeah. is basically a slushie. Well, smoothies, yeah. Yeah, the, the original I'm not going to disagree with you. It tastes better. The original purpose of smoothies is the most efficient way to get nutrients into your body, yeah. not for something that tastes good. No, now, yeah. Are we sure that's the definition or not? I'm not saying the definition, but that's. The original purpose for it is for is to get something that the founder of a smoothie is why they that's why they faster just inject fruit into your because you can hide (laughs) you can hide stuff too like you can hide kale in a smoothie by adding a ton of fruit. I used to hide hide chai seeds. Chai seeds. Keep going though. Chia seeds. Keep keep going on your. I'm. Yeah. 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 It's definitely cheese. Yeah. It's definitely cheese. Okay. I'm really hooked into this storyline though. Yeah. 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 So this guy's bashing. This guy's bashing. Bashing tropical smoothie. I kind of want to get tropical smoothie today. I do too. And um. And he basically was like, yeah, I've been a manager there for like, I was a manager there or whatever for like seven years. Out. We throw so much crap in there, blah, blah, blah. And Kelsey's like, at this point, Kelsey's like, wow. Like if you bash something that she loves, she's going to she's gonna try to come after you. Mm-hmm. So she's like, can you add a protein to the, my smoothie? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, well, what kind of, what kind of protein do you have? And he's like, oh, you know, it's just like really, really healthy stuff. She's like, no, like what's the brand? And like he was really like hesitant on like saying what the protein was and then she she, he finally said it and i don't remember what the name was but kelsey knew exactly what it was it's like this protein that is in this uh marketing level whatever thing where you're trying to have people buy it like some arbon or isogenic stuff yeah so basically kelsey was like basically figured out this guy she was like so you basically opened a smoothie shop so that you can buy and your distributor for this market. Oh my thing. gosh, that's so, so you can smart. You spend a crap ton of money to buy this protein so that you jack up your position or whatever in this thing. That's and so then smart. you sell that protein to all these other people in smoothies. So you're like double dipping almost. Wow. That's very that's smart. smart. That's that very is, smart. yeah. Wow, Dang. that is because like, did she say that to him in those multi level no. marketing? Dang. You no. have to buy I love a, a good certain amount of product to whenever keep I'm out of your yeah. yeah, yes, that's the, what the biggest scam is, right? Because well, because recruiting is it gets to the point where like recruiting is more important than sales, but also you still need to buy a ton of, bunch of stuff. Buy like, a bunch of so it having too. people underneath you making you the money is what you need. Um, so like, but that guy basically, that's such a, he's just, he, it's, it's, yeah, he's just it's basically the crap out of it. He's like, no he's, big deal to buy it because it's just my business. In mo- smoothies. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. No one knows. <laughs> that's crazy. That's wild. Well, I wonder how probably, many other people are doing that. He's probably actually having his store buy it from him. And then he's making commission off all the sales yeah. from oh. the store buying it from. Oh him. my gosh! Yeah, yeah. unless well, it's he's a multi-level marketing guy. He's probably not smart enough to figure that one out. <laughs> uh, but if well, he man, was, unless he's trying to unless he's just trying to hack it, he may have just gone into it like I'm just going to hack multi-level marketing. Maybe, but because like now you when you think ever, about it, that is kind of smart. Do you guys ever sell, sell knives? No. Cutco? My dad did. No. My dad actually worked for Cutco selling like selling knives door to door. Dude, they're so sharp they can uh, chop a penny in half. I feel like yeah. selling knives would be one of the more fun ones at least because you guys. That's such a wild dad, thing. Well, it's also like nowadays that'd be so intimidating. Yeah, that's such a, a guy wild, comes to your door yeah. and opens up a case of knives like let me sell these to you. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I say actually, no, will you I, use them on me? I already watched all the YouTube videos, so I'm I'm good. You can go to the next house. Whatever <laughs> happened to uh, like coin, coin oh. collections? You remember when they, they had like exist. all those brand new quarters that came out with each state? Yeah, and you had like a, had a book yeah. that, that you, you filled. Whatever happened I had to that? 48 states. My buddy states. was into that. I was two states off. You never and had, I don't know what never happened. had Hawaii I or Alaska. Gave up on your dream, man. I had both. Never had South Dakota. I had South Midwest. Dakota. There was something in the Midwest. Never Maybe it was had South Dakota. Oklahoma. I had some in the Midwest that were rare. Like, is that worth anything now if you have a full collection? No, probably not. No? Probably about 50 Someday. cents. In a few Someday years it will be because eventually like 
hard normal money will just not exist. Yeah, coin. And then you'll be like, what is this? Oh, they're back in my day. Honestly, we use these metal things to pay. Well, that's not. <laughs> was it really? It's not really silver, though, right? No, no. That's when that's when it lost all its value. It's zinc we coated moved off in of the gold silver back. and coated in you copper. You can find yeah. uh, original copper pennies though if you find them. Yes, like a if you get a silver dollar prior to year nineteen something, that actually has silver. Actually, silver. In it. Yeah. It, before two thousand one, they used. I think they used straight copper and straight nickel and stuff. And then after that was whenever they started doing the zinc. Because my dad, stuff. for his business, had like they'll do like fifty cent piece. Uh, mailings and stuff where like it's taped to whatever goes out for direct mail and he'll get thousands of 50 cent pieces in and what my summer job was at times because I'd help with like sorting and stuff like that um, and you had to like count them out so the inserters had it counted for their um, job so I would have to count them by weight because each one weighed a certain thing but he taught me the technique of like speaking of the devil he taught me oh. the technique of knowing <laughs> what year what years is a 50 cent piece have silver in it 69. Boom. Wow, that was... Last one. I told you you'd know. Uh, so that was basically, impeccable timing. Holy cow. Uh, he knew, he I had to speed that. That, 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 that has never happened before. No, that was one of the... That, that was awesome. <laughs> but that was one of the things you would look and like the ones that had silver... usually. <laughs> the ones that had silver had a different sheen to them. And so you, you got an eye like, for it. Yeah, so you. I think we need to get some. He some, would. Some, well, some he could just TV he could just look out. at the pile. Yeah, he could just look be. at the pile and be like, start pulling them out. What I would have to do is like look at the date as yeah. I weighed them, mm. and he had me separate all the ones from sixty nine, and then he collected those and then would use consuming. money to replace the fifty cent pieces that he needed for the job. Yeah, but he's make Hunter do it, and he's fine. But like yeah. then he just got stacks of actual silver to hold on. Melt to. that thing down. I've got I've got like a couple thousand dollars in silver. There you go. You in gold at all? Have really? You got into gold? I got no. You ever got into gold? I think gold? every year I'm just gonna buy like five thousand to ten thousand dollars in silver. I buy silver. Really? Yeah. My silver Sage sold me on it. What? What? You don't know silver I sages? Don't feel like, is that a multi-level marketing? I don't think thing, that precious metals are. You guys really don't watch. You guys sage. don't watch Silver Sage? I've never. What heard is that? that? What is that? It's one of my buddies. Uh, his last name is Sage, and he started a YouTube channel where he just talks about silver. Why? So why is, why is silver? He calls himself Silver Sage. Why is it silver over gold? Um, and why either? just because of the alliteration? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I know silver is actually I've, better for building stuff out of. That's what I'm saying. I feel like like if you're investing in a material that ha- is going to have like a lot of use, that's important. Like I get that. That makes sense. I mean, I've never understood people that like break into old abandoned buildi- buildings and steal the copper out of the plumbing. They just explore. What? Just exploring. <laughs> Connor, me, Connor trespasses all the That's time. That's not true. I all don't know time. how hey, that steal, narrative started. Steal 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 steal. Steal. No, I don't do that. But yeah. he calls it exploring. He's like, I That's love to true. explore. But I love really, exploring, just, and sometimes that involves AKA slight trespassing. Yeah, trespassing. So trespassing. There's no such thing as slight trespassing. There's no such thing. It's not, it's not. It's not like I'm breaking into a hospital building and roaming around. It's like it's actually exactly an old, what he did It's yesterday. like an old abandoned building. I think that's fun. I don't so, do it often, but I think it's fun. Let me ask you a question. Uh, like jail. This might be one of those situations. I where feel it's like that's like, as bad as speeding. Trespassing. Speeding is probably worse. Well, in in, in, their, in what you're They're considering different. trespassing. But uh, I'm about but to I do something like that I jail, think Trevor. is like not something you're not supposed to do, where it's mm-hmm. like you don't ask your friends that will tell you the right answer. You ask your friends that will tell you the answer you want. So that's what I'm going to do with you. There's a you're lot. Tell me the answer I want. No, I'm going to ask you a question, knowing that you're probably going to tell me the answer I want to hear. Oh, okay. Sick. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when you're like dating someone and mm-hmm. you're like. I know it's not good for me, but I'm going to ask this friend that's going to be, it's yeah, always no, you like, oh yeah, you do you, you man. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to talk to the person that's going to I don't want to talk to the person that's like, yeah, yeah. you need to, to break up that person. All right. Oh my um, gosh. Hit me up, I'm ready. Did Kelsey just get to you about, I forgot to sign it. Oh boy. That's um, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so there's a lot next to our house. Okay, yeah. an empty lot. Mm-hmm. With horses. Nope, no, not, not horses. Uh, lots. Right, your new house? Or yes, okay. yes. Big, big lot. Lots of trees, lots uh-huh. of space. Should I reach out to the owner to say, hey, you're not using this right now. Nothing's happening. Like, do you care if I put a couple baskets over there? And how, throw how far are we talking you can throw? Like four to five hundred feet. Oh, shots. wow. Yeah. Or do I just go over and put baskets up and throw and not say anything? Is it, and there's nothing built on it. It's just an empty, empty lot. lot. I mean, it's I, for sale too. It's until, for sale. Until I thought start, about, I thought about just buying it. N- until they start, but uh, if I can get it for free, I mean, if you, he's not going to give you permission. 
That's the thing. I mean, you don't think just, so? Just like portable baskets? I, I'll I'll put it this way. Can yeah, you, like wait, just, can you put it? How is it like directly next to you? It's like could you put a basket in your yard and throw from his? I'm not sure from Kelsey's photos. I was gonna photos. say because like I would say like throwing. Like, I know I can yeah. get. I know I can get like a 350, almost a 400 foot shot from my front yard to my backyard. I'm, like I'm saying is, I would definitely throw this side. into that property and walk over and grab them. Like because like what's the worst? Yeah, that yeah, yeah right. Putting up baskets. You well, draw like, a little more attention. Well, maybe like one or two baskets. It's like kind of like in some of the tree lines, so you can work on your. I also don't shot. know how shielded it is from the road. I and mean. I'll, you just oh, gotta, it's very shielded. You just got to keep an eye very on that uh, on that Zillow, and then just see when they're showing the land to people, so you can you know be on top <laughs> of. I mean, a basket. People? A basket is if they're trying to build, but like, is this the type of place where they're just yeah. it's developed? Like, uh, they, yeah, it would be it would be a house. We'd go there. Whenever you, yeah. if you would have just done it and not talked to anybody about it, no one would have thought it was weird. It was that you asked. Is it okay for me to not ask him about it and just put <laughs> baskets on his land? That's what makes it because I think about like when it, whenever like. At my parents' house or in my neighborhood, people walk through my yard all the time. Like, and people let their dogs crap in my yard all the time. And just like, okay, I'm in a neighborhood. That's just kind of how it works. Yeah. And like, whenever you're a kid, you run through all your neighbors' yards and like. But like, what if someone put like a swing set in your backyard <laughs> yeah, and no. just it's not had quite, their it's a, kids <laughs> pushing? I mean, I mean, a portable on the basket. Seesaw. A portable basket. That's what is, I feel. It's portable. It's like, yeah. It's like you can move it real like, quick. Pretty cash. Yeah. I, also, like if you're doing it like in the evening, where like. Nobody's gonna be out there for any good reason, anyways. Like, yeah. All right. I would. I'll keep it. you guys up to date on that. Okay. I'll yeah. let you know what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would forefront. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, I, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I, it, it just depends how gutsy you are, really. I used to have like a bunch, a bunch of backyards used to connect to my yard, and as far mm-hmm. as I was concerned, they were all my yard. I would definitely yeah, go yeah, yeah. portable basket and like set it up, use it. Take, it, take down. it down. Yeah, I wouldn't leave it. Yeah. Because yeah. then, like, what's the worst case scenario is the guy... Also, I would drive to the property, no, yeah, even though it's next door. So then if someone shows up and's like, what are you doing? Get the heck out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Throw it in your car and leave. So you don't have to awkwardly walk to your Kelsey, house. Kelsey, right did, <laughs> Kelsey did go to the house and uh, didn't realize the guy was there. And she was taking pictures. So, like, current owner? Yeah. So oh. she, was ta- she had the car in the front. And all the corgis were like sticking their heads out, and she was like That's taking so a picture funny. of it. And the current owner like opens the door, is like, "Hey, can I help you?" And she's like, "Oh, this house is for sale?" And he's like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Oh yeah, I was just taking pictures." He's like, "Okay." And she's like, "All right." And it's like, <laughs> just like acted like she was not. She's like, "I don't want him to know that we're buying the house." That's so funny. She just got out of there. That's really funny. funny. The photos that she took of the corgis in the car were. Really awesome. Mm. They're all sticking their head out. They're all cute. All right. Can I tell you guys my story about how I got almost got scammed this past weekend? Yeah. All right. Why are we all getting scammed? scammed? I don't. I, I don't get know. Scammed. There's a bunch of scammers out. You don't there. get scammed? No. You've never gotten scammed. It really makes me angry. I don't think I the have. side note: It makes me so angry. These people that take advantage of old people and because the old people don't necessarily have the not the sense old people are very smart we shouldn't discredit them but they're well, not honey, as or Connor, you're only 28 you're well, they're not as, you they're think, not as aware he, he of, of these scams as oh. we are because we understand it more do you and think so my gonna, grandparents get taken advantage of all the time by these people that call them and the they're like yeah we're your bank and all this do you think that'll up. change though when like we get old well there'll be a new because new scam yeah, it'd be a yeah. Nice game. really. The whole, be like, the whole idea is like it's technology that in their time wasn't you, taking advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. you get to a certain age, you kind of start losing what would the touch new, a little bit. But what would the new scam be? Probably go. Know. Probably go back to door to door cookie sales. <laughs> yeah, we'd be sucking for that. It's yeah. just a cycle of yeah. scams. When we get old, it'll just be like it'll be I some, remember when I sold it when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> whenever we, whenever we're old, it'll be like all right. Uh, would you mind just like looking into this glass? Uh, and they're gonna just scare our. Uh, scan you just our bought ten NFTs, sucker. <laughs> anyway, so what happened this weekend was Gabby and I, we had to go move some stuff out of my father-in-law's uh, old house because he just moved and he was supposed to come back and take care of it, but he had a heart attack, so he couldn't come back. He's fine now. Um, so we went and uh, went into his house and was trying to get rid of stuff for him, stuff that he just left there. And he was going to just leave it. He was renting the house. He was just going to leave it and let la- the landlord take care of it. But Gabby and I were like, uh, we should probably do something about it. And there were these really nice leather couches in there like very good shape leather couches and so i was like i bet if i listed those on facebook marketplace and said like you have to pick it up on this day you'll get a bunch of people going for it and so i listed them for like 500 bucks and just said 
you know, send me your offer. I'll accept offers or whatever. And somebody was like, you take 400. And I'm just saying word for word what they're saying. You take 400. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so then uh, they were, I was like, okay, that, that works. Like, when can you come by and get it? And they were like, I can come by. What, or they, they said that nice. And then a separate message. I can come by any time. And then I was like, okay, cool. How does like five o'clock sound? And they were like, that nice. And that nice. Uh, so I was like, okay. And they said, I would like to, like, what is your, I want to go ahead and pay you so that you can market as sold. And I was, whenever this happened, I was driving and Gabby was like, they're trying to scam us. I was like, you can't scam us by them trying to pay us. They're just making a dumb decision. Oh, they can't. Like, don't send, yeah. don't Make- send somebody money before you pick up the item. Because then you're gonna get scammed. So I was like, she's just kind of like a. I, I looked at her profile. There's like three pictures. They're all selfies, and it's like this like middle aged woman. Did she have any posts? Three. Yeah. Th- it was just all, the pictures. It was on her. Okay. So this was. So first of all, the on. hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the text. The text was the her like actual text was very strange, and she said that, she said let me go and pay you. And we we're like that's kind of weird. I was like okay whatever. And she said do you have Zell? And we we're like no. And also, you shouldn't Zell somebody that you don't know because Zell is really only... It's only like a bank secure. transfer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so we said no. And she said, okay, I'll take Venmo. What's your Venmo? And so Gabby sent her my Venmo name. And she was like, I don't have Venmo. I, but I'll take Cash App. And I was like, what the heck? You just... Okay. And she sent my, my Cash App <laughs> name. If you just send your Cash App name, your Venmo yeah, name, they can't, can't scam you or anything. Yeah. She's like, okay, I need your email too. And we we're like, mm. Never need to give somebody my email for yeah, somebody no. to cash at me. No. And so, at this point, we're kind of weirded out. We messaged back and we're like, why do you need my email? No one's ever needed my email for, for this before. And she said, for confirmation. And we're like, yeah, this is sketchy. No. We click on her profile in Facebook. It's not even messaging us through like Marketplace. It's like a personal Facebook that says like Margaret something on it. And then whenever you click on show profile, it takes you to Instagram with a different name a different person's name with the three pic- the three posts that are three selfies and the person has like 25 followers and is following like 20 people all the people she's she's following are like college age girls and then all the people following her are like weird accounts like cash app just free like money accounts bro. like stuff like that and like the only the only comments all of her posts have like two likes and one of them has a comment from that like cash app big money account yeah. or whatever yeah. that says uh drop your cash app below for for a um for a blessing yeah. easy scam and so we're like yeah this is I, not uh, going to work out <laughs> so we didn't sell them turns out her sister wanted the couch I like, actually the when I was trying to sell <laughs> my gaming computer that nice that nice back <laughs> in money. when I was trying to sell my gaming computer and this was probably I was in high school, I think. I think it was right before I went to college or like right my freshman year of college. And I listed it on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, um, maybe eBay as well. And like the gaming computer world, like it's people will try to haggle the mess out of you. Mm -hmm. And I would get so many offers with this same scam approach that I had never seen before, never even expected, where they would just kind of string you on for a while and then when they would offer to pay, they were basically offering to pay you via check. Um, Hmm. And and they would use something like, and then they would use a line along the lines of like, I don't get paid until blah, blah, blah. Like the check would, like basically trying to get you to get it, write a check to you that's just going to bounce. Then like that, that must have been very common because I think it happened like five times people tried to use that. And like obviously- They were trying to get you to ship the item or like give them the item. Or no, come, yeah, they would come pick it up and then you hand, give, you a hand me a check, and then I would they would be off the scene, never see him again. That check would not, yeah, would not, not cash. Um, and like obviously, I was like, well, no way, I'm not doing this. And eventually, I sold it to somebody for cash. But like that was apparently very popular, which is like because like mm. I, and I was thinking to myself like, no, of course I'm not going to do that. Just balancing checks, yeah, unless you want me to mobile deposit on the spot and get a confirmation <laughs> or something. <laughs> like it, it's it's crazy. Like there's all there's so the much only out like there. scam that ever almost. Almost got me. Um, I've had my wife call me before 
and <laughs> clearly be in the midst of a scam and be like, yeah, I was like, the USPS website oh, just looks so much different right now. I'm like, you're not on it. <laughs> no, but uh, the only one that almost got me was it was two foundations account. It was that Instagram scam when it was first starting of like, I made this for you. Click here. Oh, you know that yeah. scam? It's gotten way more yeah. popular and way less sophisticated. Or there, there was also the first one I got was like, hey guys, really love what you're doing. It took me three hours to make this. Click here. Like, I got that same one, It took one, me three hours to make this. Yeah. And then all it was was a link. And I went on, I clicked I clicked into the message, and I looked at it, and for some reason, I like read the link. And I was like, you can send pictures on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they send me that? And if it's like a SoundCloud thing, they would use SoundCloud. Yeah. And it was like type, it was like TYP, blah, blah, blah. Like It was something where I, like, oh, I was yeah. like, I don't recognize that. <laughs> so I just responded, I responded to the message and said, Hey, I really appreciate that. I don't really click links on Instagram. You have some more other way you can send me though. And they never responded. And then mm. like weeks after that, I started getting more and more. Well, and I was like, the Thank one? I got that I same one. Do you remember the message where it would be like, uh, like, hey, this is pretty concerning that you were tagged in this or something like that. Yeah. Like, you should really check this out. Those started getting sent out well, for that a while. That was getting mm-hmm. sent out by like your friends' accounts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's where it scary, was scary, like, scary business. The I got only thing I didn't, only reason I didn't like, fall for that is the friend on Facebook that they used to send it. I hadn't talked to in years. Oh, and I was like, yeah. this guy wouldn't give two rips. My, so I was my Twitter account got hacked. Not the one I currently use, but my old one like a long time ago. Uh, I don't even think it exists anymore, but. It got hacked. Luckily, it was not a bad... Like, I get a text message from, I think, maybe my dad saying, hey, I think your Twitter got hacked. That is a scary text message. (laughs) And I go on there, and all that happened was that I was sending DMs to people trying to sell them sunglasses. (laughs) (laughs) Like, five different people. And so I just had to message them, like, hey, by the way, like... That's not me. That's not me. Don't buy those sunglasses. Some people were like, well, I wanted sunglasses. Like, okay. Well, I almost lost everything. My, My Facebook got hacked one time. I can't remember what happened, but I hadn't used Facebook and like it was like right whenever I got an Instagram. Yeah. So like it can uh, be bad sometimes. I only used Instagram. I never used Facebook. And this was before Facebook Marketplace, so why would I go on there? Right. And um so I went into school one day. I was I was like, probably a sophomore in high school, and this girl at my school was like, Hey Connor, it's kinda <laughs> kinda weird that you uh that you posted this or whatever. And I was like, What? And then she showed me and it was like it was like a very it was like it was a porn page yeah that, that was literally about to say that, that happened to, that it happened got, to a girl got, in in high school around where i'm from that happened and to i was so embarrassed because yeah. i was like i like i'm i was also i was a worship leader at the time too at my church so i was like like what the heck that's so i just deleted it and then po- made a post that was like I'm so sorry. And that then, happened to a teacher, but like at nobody, my school. but like nobody saw it anyway because yeah, no, I didn't have any well, A teacher at my school had like <laughs> all, of, all of us and like alumni and all these people were friends with her, and that hack happened or scam happened, mm-hmm. and we just like I was a student at the time, and we went on and like your teacher just posted a link to like an <laughs> obvious porn page, and we we're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what just happened? But then it's hard because like how do you defend yourself to that? He's yeah. Like, oh, it got hacked. Like, yeah, likely. Yeah, story. That, well, that's what everybody did to me, and it was <laughs> so it was so awful. On Twitter. Yeah, it made me so Whenever uncomfortable. Makes a bad yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was like, oh, I got oh. hacked. Yeah, you got hacked. You got this, caught. That's huh? what that girl did that told me about it. Was she was like, it kind of really did that. I was like, oh my god, like I like I must have been like hacked or something. And she was like, yeah, okay. And I was well, like, that's, no, that's like kind of funny. I would not. Like, why would I'm they think you would post that? Like. Why would I do that on Facebook? Yeah. What motivation would you have? No, at our school, what the rumor was, which. It's obviously it was a rumor, but like yeah. we're a bunch of high school students and a, right. a teacher just posted a porn page. Like, yeah. yeah, obviously yeah. rumors are gonna start. run with it. The rumor was like, oh, clearly she was on there and like hit the Facebook share button without knowing. Oh mm. gosh, yeah, that so is, like that's that was a tough one. Gotcha, but yeah, scams. Man. I was very. It's I was not a very victimless crime. No, it's not. I was very embarrassed, but the it, it, only it, it didn't that, go past that. That was the embarrassing moment of it, and then nothing else really yeah. happened after that. Only one I ever like had fun with. Was when I think I've told the story. Scams. Yeah, when uh, I got a call and they told me that there was a murder, and it was in Texas on the border. It was on Texas on the border. There was a murder, and the only piece of evidence was left behind was my social security card. (laughs) 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 That is straight out of the office. It was incredible. That is so funny. I I talked to the guy for a solid like thirty minutes, and he asked me my name, and obviously I gave him a fake name. He asked me my social, obviously I gave him a fake social, but I wanted to egg him on. So I was like, I forget who I was. I made up, I, th- I might have been Jackson Montgomery. I think I stole one of y'all's names from the video. Cause I think it was around that time we just done that mm. video. <laughs> so I used Jackson Montgomery. And then uh, 
he like was trying to scare me after 10 minutes. He's like, don't waste my time anymore. Uh, does the name Thomas Hunter mean nothing to you? And then I like laughed because like clearly he's looking at phone records where it like lists your last name and your first yeah. name and he's not smart enough to realize it goes last first. Yeah. I was like, Thomas Hunter. I was like, I ain't going to high school with someone like that. Uh, did you call the wrong number? Are you trying to talk to Thomas Hunter? He's like, I know that's you. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I, I went on for like another five minutes and the guy was just yelling at me the whole that time. That is very that is funny. I'm surprised they didn't hang setup. up. That is an incredible setup. One, one time, There's been a dude, murder. my dad was on the phone. It was the it was my favorite moment of witnessing my dad ever because this guy had scammed my grandma big time and uh, had gotten all this information from her. And so my dad called him on her phone and talked to him for like an hour and a half of like trying to get out of it like that until eventually the guy realized that my dad knew that he was scamming her and his whole personality changed and he hung up and it was the it was awesome because <laughs> I just saw my dad tear this guy to pieces and it was sick. That's really funny. But um my we, favorite YouTube channels are those ones that yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they'll hack, hack into, into their the, computer. Uh, and start like, like buying gift cards. Open their whatever. webcam oh. and like uh, the one where they open their webcam, they all see themselves and they're all like like scatter out of the way, freaking out. They oh, it's incredible. Out. They know we, where we are. With the uh, just a few like I think like last month I went to my parents' house and my dad was like, oh, this just came in the mail for you. And I was like, what the heck is that? And he was like, oh, it's uh, uh, it's to get insurance on your 2015 Chevy Camaro. And I was like, what the heck? And I was like, oh, my gosh. Because every time I get a phone call about your insurance warranty is, is yeah. going out or whatever – I always keep them on the phone, and when they ask oh, what car, you, I say 2015 do. Chevy Camaro every <laughs> single time. That's and, so funny. And then whenever I start to say too much ridiculous stuff, they just hang up. But that then I so got a letter about awesome. this. So you got you're in the system now. Funny. I'm in the system. I don't I don't know what happened, but There's somebody out there thinks you own a 2015. There is Camaro. one yeah. uh, one of those car. like YouTube. <laughs> there's like one of those people who like hacks I'm into the YouTube. You. I will not pursue you, <laughs> but if you don't. Copyright yeah, strikes. copyright too. Right? I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> Hope that was less than fifteen they, uh, seconds. That's what you just say to one of the scammers. My favorite. Uh, my favorite. Do you know this one? Yeah, yeah. Taken. Taken. Okay. Who taken wouldn't two, know that? Taken three. Uh, taken <laughs> eight. He says in every one. My favorite. Every Lee and Neeson movie ever. My favorite YouTube one where like they hacked into the scammer was they um they called the guy, and he was like he had he had done this whole thing. And then he had the guy's like personal phone number. Mm-hmm. So later that night, he called him and he picked up and he was like, hi, is this, I forget the guy's name. He asked, he's, we'll just say Tom. Is this Tom? And the guy was like, yeah. He's like, hey, this is Agent Cody with the uh, CIA. Um, I just wanted to like inform, I wanted to thank you so much for all of your help in getting us the intelligence that we needed. But um, I just wanted to make you aware, like I would not show up to work tomorrow. Uh you know, I w- you've been a great informant for us. So I just wanted to let you know, not gonna, you're not going to be at the office tomorrow. <laughs> and the guy was like, what do you mean? What are you going to do? He goes, I can't inform anything else. He's like, honestly, I shouldn't be making this phone call, but I would not show up at all- the office tomorrow if I were you. And then hung up on him. And he's like, <laughs> ruthless. he's like, I'll never get the fruits from that. But that was a great moment. <laughs> <laughs> that that's is hard. so That's funny. a long game. And that's difficult. It's, that. it's hard not to see the punchline. Like, he's not going to see it. Yeah. But you know, like the Tom's sitting there like, well, do I go into the office no tomorrow? Way. And like, well, now that the CIA has my personal phone number, like if I tell everyone, they'll be able to see mm. what I do. Like, oh man. That's so funny. Speaking of like crazy stuff, I recently saw this TikTok. I could be angry. I saw this TikTok literally this morning. I don't know if I liked it or not, where they found a dead body in a barrel. This is, oh, oh this is a while ago, but oh, the news crazy. story, they found a dead body in a barrel at this lake in like California and the chick duetted it or was like doing the TikTok. So she shows this article. And she's like using the green screen and then she, and then it says like popped up and it said like literally the day before or no, then it said my friend's text message thread after this. It is like her and her friend texting back and forth and they're like, wait, they sent it to him. She sent it to him and said like, weren't you there yesterday? And then he responded back, goes, oh my word, that's crazy. And then said, oh my gosh. And then he sends her pictures of him posing on that barrel. Oh, oh my god! Like he was gosh. like sitting on it and like doing all these poses because like it was just a barrel on the beach. Yeah, and so they took like a bunch of pictures of him just like funny poses Yikes. on this barrel, oh and he boy. sent like there was like ten of them. He sent back to her, 
And like she was laughing about it, but all the comments were obviously like, I'd be panicking so much because like your DNA is all over that now. Yeah. And like, well, luckily you could probably like explain like the body yeah, was decayed yeah, and all this stuff. Not, yeah, it's not a ridiculous it wasn't, like, explanation. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty easy, and you have pictures to prove it. But yeah. still, like I was trying to imagine that moment of like, my DNA is all over a crime scene right now. Yeah, like, that's and crazy. there's pictures to that's place crazy. me there. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. Wow. TikTok's you never a crazy know where place. That could be a body, you know? It could be right underneath your chair right now. It's like Oprah. Yep. That's what happens when you knock down some walls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? You never know what's inside your walls, man. That's where most, a bunch that's of where trash. most people uh, hide bodies, is in new construction. Really? Well, yeah. Well, in the concrete, well, new sometimes. construction under concrete a lot of times. Yeah, like new construct. Like when if someone's like building a house, you just go in there and like. I was uh well yeah I was that's the sound of a dead body. I was body. just watching the Wayne Gacy John <laughs> Wayne Gacy tapes thing on Netflix and he yeah. he uh was, it was making a crawl a bar- space right. Well he yeah he did the crawl space but then he did a underneath his uh barbecue pit because he was like pouring a concrete slab to put this wow. barbecue thing on and he. That's where one of the bodies was. Yep. Dang. Dang. Yep. I started watching that, but Liz made me turn it off. It's she didn't want to watch it anymore. Wild in. Gabby saw it and she was like, Oh, maybe we should watch that. And I was like, You're you're not gonna want to watch yeah, that. Yeah, we turned it on. Well, she was like, what it was is also, it? And I was like, he's a we, only, we didn't get super far into it either. It is it was a Sunday afternoon. It's gross. And so I we always turn on like true crime stuff on Sunday afternoon. Mm-hmm. And so we turn it on, and then within like 25 minutes, I pass out. I'm t- I'm exhausted. And I wake up to Liz. She's like, "Change the channel, change it." I'm like, "Why?" She goes, "I don't want to. I don't want to watch this anymore." And I was like, "How long have you been watching?" It? She's like, I, "I think I just finished the first episode." She's like, "I don't want to watch the second. I was like, "Oh, okay." I was like, well, "Was it good?" She's like, "No." I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, it's pretty rough. <laughs> I, the first twenty minutes were very enthralling. I was very intrigued. Mm. But that's how. That's how. Whenever I, I don't think I talked about this on here, but I, I watched, I watched Joker. And it was an incredible movie, but afterwards I felt like I could kill somebody with no remorse, and I was like, I need to go outside. <laughs> I had to go outside oh. and get some like serotonin or something to like find that. Find someone? To, no, oh. no, oh. just to make, get, breathe some breath, some fresh air. My wife was out of town, and I was sitting on my couch after watching Joker, and I was like, I'm a terrible person. I feel like a terrible person now after watching that because it was so messed up. And then I walked outside, and I was like, I just gotta ride my one wheel for a little bit. And then I felt great. Rode what's the uh, What's the name of the person where it's like no one, no one. <laughs> No one cares that they go missing. What's that? Huh? A loser? No, no, no. Dang, it's a like, lizard. Dang. It's like someone that has no family or friends or like, like homeless. Like Jane Doe. John Doe. Yeah, that's if, that's you, don't, that's if you don't know the name of No, somebody. it's just like, Gene it's like oh, just go and find a blah, blah, blah. No, no one know they'll miss it. they're missing. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> what is going I, on I right feel now? like I know what you're talking you know about. What there's a name for that person. Brody, yeah. what's your, I feel like you're always watching interesting shows. What, are you watching anything right now? Do you, wa- do you watch shows while you're on the road? He's watching his game film. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Grow up. Oh, I'm, I'm um, <laughs> honestly, I was just watching this past. I was watching a lot of the NBA playoffs. NHL playoffs started last night. Oh, I could care less. Triple overtime game. Why do you just have to say that? Because I, um, like, I watched it. It was a triple overtime game. Who were you rooting for? I wasn't. Okay. So I, uh, I turn on ESPN every watch, night when I fall asleep. Do you watch? Like, Silas, you might know. What do, what do they call that where it's like. How would he know? He Silas might, knows things. He might know. Like, it, I feel like it definitely happens in a movie where, like, someone's trying to kill someone. And like a the, like a low risk. And the, yeah, it's like that? some. It's like a loner, like someone that's like no friends, no family, no one has any idea who they are. So if they go missing, no one's gonna go be looking for them. What is that name of that person? It's like a. It's like oh yeah, that's there goes that uh there goes. Yeah, Hermit. It's, <laughs> what Hermit. I mean, if I, you if you put that into Google, it just comes up with like help I articles, so. which makes sense. I thought a help article. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> what do you call someone no I, friends and family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you start googling. Uh, hey, no you want to call this family. hotline? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't. Yeah, I know. Some of my know. Like, I feel like it's in movies or like like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Can All right. It. Do you keep up with any TV shows while you're on the road, Brody? I'm just trying to get a taste of what it's like to be on the road. Driving. As Brody. Only thing he's tasting is the rubber on the road, man. That's gross. It's dirty. <laughs> I try to go to a lot of Waffle Houses. Yeah. Yeah? That's like, your, that's like your place I had waffles road? last night and made waffles. Try to go to oh, a lot man. of Waffle Houses. There's really... I mean, there is free time, obviously. It's not like I'm like nonstop, uh-huh. but... You know, there is, I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's just like you just like shut off. 
Because between practice, between practice, warming up, cooling down, going to the gym, eating, laundry, mm-hmm. when you're not doing any of those things, you kind of just like, and the, and these these rounds are actually like, so I'll get to the course probably around an hour before my round. Uh huh. The round takes three to four hours depending on the course, mm-hmm. and then I cool down for like a good fifteen to thirty minutes after. So what is that? Five, five and a half. six, like yeah, five and a half hours. It's a lot of time. Yeah. It's a decent amount of your day, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering. I'm I'm about to start I'm about to start diving into Ozark, the last seven episodes. Mm. My dad know. watched that. To get to He g- said it was pretty dark, but it was good. It is. Kelsey stopped watching uh after season two, unfortunately. She said it got her she's too high anxiety. Mm. So I've never seen it. J- Same Jason with Bateman. uh uh, handmade sale. Have you guys seen uh, that Hardy Boys show? No, they made a no. new show. The yeah, Hardy it's Boys? like there's like a new Hardy Boys show, and it's supposed to be like more like um, suspenseful, like to where it's like kind of like darker. And, like I think it's supposed to be kind of like a supernatural kind of thing. So it's supposed to be like basically like a crime show, but there's like more of like a ghost element to it. Oh. Um, it sounds really good. Gabby and I are gonna watch it after we're done with. The show we're watching right now. What's the show you're What's watching? What's the show you're watching right now, Connor? <laughs> Riverdale. <laughs> okay. Is there any musicals? I have not gotten to any musical episodes, but it is. I mean, it's a pretty good show, actually. It's pretty good. You, what do you guys? You guys want? Would all right? I'll, I'll I'm trying. It. I'm trying to get. <laughs> I'm trying to potentially get Silver Sage on the phone. On the phone. Oh. To potentially, so to potentially why sell you guys, to pitch you guys why silver is. I'm going to buy gold out of spite. The only thing I buy right now is student loans. <laughs> I would they're, buy they're I would demand. buy a breakfast sampler <laughs> right now. I would buy You could sell I'd me bre- on a pizza right now. I'd buy an app Are they sampler. open yet? No. no. 11.30. But you could sell me on one. <laughs> if someone if someone came in here with a cheese pizza, I was like, hey, Hunter, 10 bucks. Like, <laughs> How... Hey, I need a gavel. If sour, if the sourdough guy walked whoa, in whoa, right whoa, now, whoa. sit down, Silas. Hey. hey, I'll give you a pizza right now for twenty bucks. No, that's what I was saying. What if, does like, that mean, right if now? Hunter, like, right. A, if a great, you have one on your hand. Yeah, like if. Oh, like, that's no. not right now. I can get one. They're not than open. That. No, Hunter. If somebody walked in the room right now, had one, <laughs> how high are you paying for it? Like, like this very has instant. it cheese pizza walking up to me right now? Somebody just walked in, sat it down, and said, "You and can so just here you go. It's, it's a great in your face. cheese pizza." I'm not no, 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 starving they go, they right go, Hey, now? you want a slice of pizza? And you're like, "Yeah." And then they go, "That's a hundred dollars." Yeah. <laughs> I'm not starving right now, so I would put it at like twenty. Okay. If this was like eleven thirty and I didn't have lunch plans and someone walked in, probably thirty to forty. <laughs> that reminded me whenever I went on whenever I went on a cruise we went to Cosmo, Mexico, and cruises as as are underrated. Very. I don't think they're underrated. No, I think they're they rated are. properly. No, no. they're cruises are incredible. Underrated. Yeah, and yeah, but everybody, and cruises nobody are, shuts up about them. Yeah, cruises no. are very popular. I hear people trash on them all yeah, the time. I only hear people trash. Yeah. On them. What, very what kind of yes. cruise have you been on? Me? Because I say people trash on like I've been on the, the Oasis, cheap. like the uh, people Norwegians. trash on like the carnival, carnival gets trashed on, and that's rightfully so. so I've been on two carnival, but no, I've never, I've, heard somebody, I've never heard somebody go like, "Oh, I went to the Norwegian cruise." No, line people don't. No, people just trash no, just on cruises. cruises. They just say cruises, not like are a terrible. specific one. Okay, they're like, Why I've never been ever? on a cruise. I so I don't. I've never been. We should do a foundation. We should have. I'm I have zero. Why are we Oasis of the Sea? Well, they have a new one. Fun. I love cruises. I have zero. It's basically a city. Let me reach out to. Anyway, that being said, we we I love cruises. There. But zero interest. The only why do you cruise, not have interest? The in a only cruise? interest I would have in a cruise is doing a Mediterranean cruise where you get to stop in different places along the Mediterranean. I would do that. That's what cruises are. Well, no, there's there's a lot that don't go to the Mediterranean. No, like but you every can go other like one. The <laughs> what about uh, Caribbean's two, most yeah, the Caribbean. That wouldn't that wouldn't interest me as much. I'd rather just go to no, a beach. The whole thing is the cruise. Yeah, the cruise yeah, I don't, ship the, the, is cool. The boat does not interest me that much. What, Trevor? You have food paid for twenty four seven. Well, yeah, you, you you just walk up. Yeah, you pay you for it. You walk up with a plate. Yeah, but it's not that expensive because if you take I understand, like I understand you walk the up alert. with a plate and they just throw it's slices just of pizza on it. a lot of people it. on a boat. Any time of the day. I, my, anywhere. Not, it's not a lot of people. No. No. No, yeah, it's not crazy. It's, there's, it's, so many, there's so many different places to go. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't like it. Mini saying, golf. Anytime you want. I've, if I am choosing between like any vacation I want, cruise is going to be further down the list. Than a no, lot of it's not. That's why it's underrated. It's that's incredible. incredible. Yeah, exactly. That's what we just said. It's super cool. It's crazy. You are a living example of Anyway. Yeah. So well, I've never been though. I feel like underrated would be like I've been one and I'm, I'm underrated. Like I don't. No, I you're no underrating idea. it because you, you just said you choose a you beach over not, it. You think it's not that good for the value you get on a cruise? It's unbeatable. Well, 
what, what, okay, like how much is a cruise though? Like all inclusive, nice cruise line. How much are we talking? Couple hundred bucks. Per person? Yeah. Couple hundred bucks. For how many days? A week. A couple hundred uh, bucks. It's not probably a couple three nights. Yeah, probably three yeah. nights. Oh, the one we for did like was like a thousand week. bucks per person for a full week, and it was like well, very, this, very this nice. This man just said a couple hundred yeah, bucks, and you just said a thousand. Said a thousand. So those are That's two sad. different numbers. Yeah. Well, but we like we did a lot of extra stuff to get to a thousand. Excursions. Yeah, the excursions are expensive. Excursions do prop, prop up. Uh, I'm not saying I couldn't. Have, I wouldn't have fun. Like I, I guarantee you I'm not going to go to a cruise and be like this sucks. I just like I'm a sucker for like sitting on the beach with not a single other person in sight. Like that's my. It's you, very. Our ideas of vacation are very different because I'm like to sit on the beach, read a book, and do nothing. Yeah, you can, do that, you can do but that. But now on you're a on a boat, right? You but I could also do that on a beach and like not have and to then pay you know, for but you hear, It is there's some, it's unmatched. Whenever you're in the middle of the ocean, you can't see any. There's yeah. no land in sight. The water is the most incredible yeah, turquoise some color kids you've ever like seen. Past, like, screaming. No, 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 no that's not how it is. It's no kids. No, it's it's not like it's really not like that, Trevor. Because you can go to cruise. You can go to the edge of the. You can go to the edge of the boat. I'm going to a Disney cruise. You can go. Then you're gonna hate it. Yeah, I don't have a choice. My aunt and uncle worked on the Disney Cruise Line. That's how they met. They worked there for years and years and years. So every cruise story I've heard is is mostly Disney Cruise Line. Yeah, so no wonder. Well, yeah. The shows that's are all also kids. the shows, shows are, also are incredible. Super underrated. If you're on a dinner is incredible. No, my I mean my grandparents Breakfast, Beth buffet my grandparents every cruise a lot. My parents have room been on service and they've whenever you want for free. Yeah. I, I have I've heard a lot of good things about cruises. Cruises are incredible. Anyway, we they dock just never in, stick out to me. We dock in Cozumel, Mexico, and as soon as you get onto the island, of course, this section is like super touristy. You and there's monkeys. this guy what? Huh? There's this guy with a monkey. Yeah, see? And it's it, a monkey wearing a <laughs> diaper. Um and <laughs> and he's like, Oh, you wanna take a picture with the monkey? And he just walks up to you. He literally walks up to you and puts the monkey on your shoulder. Does not ask permission, walks up to you and puts That's the monkey a on legit your shoulder. Crime, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so he walks up to me, puts the monkey on the shoulder. I'm not gonna complain. I love monkeys. And so he puts the monkey on my shoulder, like, oh my gosh, he's like, Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. And so my mom takes out her phone and takes a picture and he goes, Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty dollars. And <laughs> just says that. And my mom was like, no. And he's like, $20. And I and he's like, I won't take the monkey unless you pay me. And then I just take the monkey off my shoulder and hand it to him. And then we walk away. <laughs> that <laughs> like, what? That, that's crime. Dude. Tourist, yeah, tourist trapping is disgusting. You want to know another so crime? Like cruises. Yeah, I do want another crime. <laughs> I'll punch you. It's either what? It's, <laughs> What's what? I, I would have the time of life on a cruise. I, I oh, know. Are I you, would. Are you? I thought you were. I'm not going to sit here. No, Trevor. I'm not going to. I thought Brody Trevor was going to out you about something. Trevor said that's why I don't like cruises, man. I'm not going to sit. <laughs> I, believe me, I'm not going to sit here and act like cruises suck. Like I'm sure hey, it would be a great time. But also, cruises cruises can be like. Um, it depends on what your purpose going on like vacation is. You can't. Happen, well, no, you, you know? can do anything on a cruise. You can relax a ton. You can do a bunch of really fun stuff, or you can go on crazy excursions that are really fun, like snorkeling the Great Barrier Reef, which is incredible. That sounds terrifying. We drove it's all also over in co- Australia. You no, the great, the great Barrier Reef goes all. Th- yeah, goes, it's all over. The yeah, place. we went. We snorkeled the Great Barrier Reef in. That's why it's great. Yeah, one of the yeah, Brody, Caribbean islands. geography nerd. I think the deepest parts near Australia. Yeah, the Great Barrier Reef is is huge. Goes for a really long way. Let's get a fact check on that. He's got it. He's googling Google fingers. I'm, I'm gonna feel really stupid if that whole that whole time we you went to a place called you, you snorkeled the Great Barrier Reef and it was like <laughs> the not what, so Great. That's Barrier what the guy told me. So, <laughs> um, I, I I mean, <laughs> oh no, if, if oh the Great Barrier no. Barrier Reef goes from Australia all the way over to the Caribbean, I would be. I mean, that is a long way. <laughs> it is. A, I, I. You. How long have you been telling people you snorkeled the Great Barrier Reef? A long time. You've told uh, yeah. me. That's tough. You're That's gonna have what, to tell a lot of people that you lied to them. The second largest is in the Caribbean. Yeah. So get lit, for no, jits. It's no, it's not, but it's not the, the Great, Great Barrier, Barrier Reef. Reef's in Australia. Oh, it's the Grand Barrier Reef. <laughs> <laughs> the Mesopot- the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef system stretches along the coast of Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras. Maybe they just said Barrier Reef. <laughs> Maybe they said a Barrier Reef. That's, and then, that's cause, tough. Cause no, the they Great probably called it the Great Barrier Reef. Because the Great Barrier Reef is that. Mm. And it's very famous. I'm not. I'm not embarrassed right just now the because I don't feel. I don't feel like I made that up. <laughs> no, to be fair, Connor, I feel like I snorkeled in the Caribbean, and I feel like they told me the same thing. I think they're just tourist telling people trapping. That. <laughs> I think they're they might, I think we didn't like pay because it is. It is a barrier reef. <laughs> yes, just not the Great Barrier. I'm pretty sure they call it. You might have been like. This I'm pretty sure they call it too. I think they said this is a Great Barrier Reef. That might be. I would be wrong. 
But they tell you all these facts and stuff too. Maybe it was like I think a, I think we got joke. swindled. My mind. I mean, was, I didn't get swindled. I went snorkeling. It was a great time. My yeah, mind was, was, was going to explode. It was a great barrier. It was an incredible. This <laughs> reef somehow went from Australia <laughs> all the way over to. It was just that was North pretty ridiculous. It was, it was, it was it an to go like in between, like underneath the country. The Where would it get there? Go through the Panama Canal. Hey, hey, come on! The world's round. It could go the other way. It was an impeccable barrier reef. Like it can't. If it's a barrier reef, I feel like it can't just go. It was one of those things where I think I had the same experience. And when I was in the Caribbean, I think we all thought that that might have been possible. Well, when for I was in it, there, we well, all I was, did not think so. I was like, well, guys, I was in the Caribbean, huge ocean. When I was in the Caribbean, I never questioned it, but I knew the Great Barrier Reef was in Australia. So when y'all both said that, I was like, yeah, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Then you're like, I stored it in the Caribbean. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like certain as we were like googling, I was like. There's no way this thing I mean, is the whole ocean. That would have been the what other wonders way. of the world did you guys think you saw? It was yeah, an incredible barrier reef. You took. <laughs> and Machu Picchu was awesome, too. <laughs> yeah. well, I think, actually, where is the Machu Picchu? I think it might actually be in Mexico. The Great no, Wall of Guatemala. Chile is insane. Guatemala. Guatemala. What's in, what's uh, in Mexico? Not no, Guatemala. Guatemala. There are ruins Himalayas. in Mexico. Uh, not the Himalayas. Wait, where is it? No, Guatemala. The Great Wall. Is it in Guatemala? Guatemala has Mayan ruins, but it's not Machu Picchu. Is it Machu Picchu? I don't think that's there. There are ruins in Mexico, but... I was so it wasn't, wasn't as accurate of a joke as I thought it was going to be. I think uh, we went to this place called Stingray City. He's picking everything up. That was cool. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! I'll Google it. No one got. No one laughed at my joke. I said the Great Wall of Chile was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is this in? That's, uh, funny. that's really is funny. In, is, where is this in? This is. Uh, where is this? What is this? Peru. 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 South America. Those Perusians. Perusians. Guatemala. Is that South America too? Latin America. It's like in between. Is it Central 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 America? America. You know what What I mean. What the heck is Latin America? That's a thing. I think they took that away. Where Did they what? take that away? What? I don't think that's like... A, Guatemala is Central America. What? I don't think Latin America is like the prop... No, uh, that's not, a, that's not, a it's thing. not the it's proper It's like in between Mexico and... Uh, no, it's North, se- Central, South. What, what was Latin America? No, Lat, I think that Latin America was you like the... You can be Latin American. No, I think no. Latin America was like the Washington Redskins. I think. Did it get canceled? I think it might have. No, I think Latin, Latin America, America... No, it's still a thing. It's no, Mexico th- through the South America. It's still on Wikipedia. Uh, it might have gotten canceled. So, but it's just like... It's right not, there. That's what it is. That's how people are Latin American. I think it might have got canceled though. Guatemala and Latin America. <laughs> it doesn't exist See anymore. See the connection? Yeah. It got canceled. Nobody... I always just heard that area like Mexico is part of North America. Yes. No, North America is a continent. South America is another continent. Latin America connects them all. Like Latin America is Mexico to South America. So I thought I South America There is no was information like on this getting canceled. People call that crazy. Central America as well. Britannica is but still cent- using Latin America. Central, so it did not get canceled. Central America is not a correct term, but I think people just interchangeably use that in Latin America, I guess. No, Pangea Latin, no, Latin, got canceled. Central Pangea America definitely is correct. Get canceled. Central America is between, which is where Guatemala is, between Mexico and South America. Latin America is Mexico, Central America, and South America. Oh, so all of that is considered all that Latin is Latin America. America. That makes sense. Okay, okay. I thought South America was like Tallahassee. So like all the Spanish-speaking countries down. That's Latin <laughs> yes. America. Guatemala is. And right what are here. we? What the heck is us in Canada? Well, Portuguese we? is not Spanish, so be We're careful. We're North with America. That. Portugal is also not over here. It's in Europe. But uh, people in Brazil speak Portuguese. Can't also, true. That's true. also true. Also <laughs> true. Uh, Very good point. Guatemala is there, so Guatemala is like the start of Central America. Okay. I heard it's nice. I've been there. I might take a cruise there. What? No, but seriously, <laughs> what is the name? I want to know what what is a fire. what is the name for U.S. and Canada? Then? Is it not if North they get, America? If they get Latin America, well, no, because they're this is a separate name because they're oh. Central and South America, and they get to be, and part of US North America. And We're European American. Yeah, are we going to be European America? I think we're just Americans. Damn. Because wasn't this? I think the, it's no, like American. Canadians are not Americans. Well, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What the heck? What? Well, they are part of North America. Yeah, but they're not Americans. I don't really understand how that works. Also, there's some people that live in Canada that like don't want to be Canadian. It's like all of Toronto. They want to be French. Oh, no, that's yeah. like no, that's yeah, like yeah. Quebec, like the yeah. French quarters. Yeah. I think it's literally like they want to like Latin America, America, and Canada. I can't find it. Like we are we speaking are so comfortably about things that we know geography. nothing about. I'm googling. I'm googling. Like, then, I mean, do, we, do we really know where the Great Barrier Reef is? Like, come on. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. He was there. <laughs> googling this. I don't know. I saw it. It was labeled. 
There's a sign, sign. There's on, a sign. on that one on little the barrier reef. Piece of coral. That literally would have been the greatest, great, like, comma, natural, reef. <laughs> natural phenomenon I just don't think we of get, I don't think there is one. I think it's just, like, South America, North America, Mexico's so part of North America, name. and then they have Latin don't. America, which is or Mexico Or no, I guess down. we would be, like, English America, right? Would that be how you would you describe mean it? Vikings Anglo America? Anglo Anglo how do you say that? English just Anglo? English American? Just English American. Oh. Because that's like that, that, no. Anglo Americans. That's I said that Anglo right. American. Gosh darn it, people. Stop making me question everything. Maybe it was great. So maybe it was Great Barrier Reef like G R A T. Anglo America is the name. And, and I named, said it and y'all all told me I was wrong. And you told me English that's America. Canada, USA. No, I yeah, was trying we're to, Anglo I was trying to make up a I name. I didn't even know we did. Anglo America. Yeah, like Anglo Saxon. I yeah. gosh darn it. I know I that word. Was named, I've heard that word before. I think it was named after William Great. So we have G-R-T-E Latin America and Anglo Great America. Barrier Reef. He what about the Great Puritans? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Now we're talking about like, <laughs> the Puritans are like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, you better Puritans Pilgrims. Versus we better not get too far into history, Pilgrims. man. It's no, going to get bad. Get no, Anglo America, Latin America. I think one of these episodes we need we need to all do try to do a blank map of the U.S. and see who can. We do should it. just get a historian on no, here. No, no, Connor, yeah, no, what? No, no, Connor's no, no, map no, would be no. so funny. Be what so, if we just filled I would, out? I would refuse to do it. How about this? No, what if, you're not allowed. What if it's we filled out a calendar? <laughs> Wait, a calendar? What does that mean? <laughs> no, yeah, no. It <laughs> For like holidays, it doesn't mean anything. That doesn't. I don't really. Yeah, like the national holidays. Connor can't do the months of the year in order. That's not true. I have to say them to do. No, like if you say like. Okay, well, well, I, I have to say them. Then say them. So like, if I said September, when September? I would go January, February. March, <laughs> oh, okay. <April>, Y'all <laughs> like two peas in a pod. September. It's off to yeah. August. All yeah. right, there you go. Me no, I think you text month. about this all the time. Can we have the Patreon video be a huge, a huge map of the world, and we just pick. Very, very like specific landmarks, and you have to figure out where they are. GeoGuessr. So it's like walls. So chi- we just play GeoGuessr. No, 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 no. You can do it with landmarks. You don't even have to yeah. choose. V- you uh, can do that in landmarks. Yeah, yeah, but I want maps. maps. I want a big. You map. don't even have to choose landmarks. You could the... just be like, "Where's Thailand?" And I'd be like, "I have no, no idea." No, my that's geography fun. has gotten up. My world geography has gotten a lot better since I started following soccer. I want you to know, like, I want you to put where you think the wall of China is. China, like, well, no, but yeah, like where? Yeah, China. we like in literally China. just played like around China. Well, here's the thing: Hunter, like Hunter's been to the wall. I feel like on a map is better. Hunter's been to the wall. Yeah, but he didn't walk there. He didn't know. Maybe know where it is. Yes, I did in flip flops. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> I was Justin Bieber. Remember the story? <laughs> I remember the story. I love that story. Would you be able to put where the Panama Canal is? No. Yes. yes. You wouldn't no. be able to. I have no way. I'm so bad at geography. Where's Panama? If I had a map, so because there's I only don't know one where thing Panama of water. is. Yeah. Like, yeah. Say, I know so where Panama is. You mean so like zoom, Panama City? Zoom, enhance, enhance, yeah. enhance. All right. <laughs> All right. What about the Louvre? I don't know the Louvre? what that is. That's in Paris. Yeah, it's a. Is that a museum? I thought the Louvre yeah, was like a ski in Paris, Paris. Right? It's in France. It's gotta be French. I'm pretty sure it's in Paris. That's it a giant triangle, like right? L O U V E. That's a giant glass triangle pyramid thing. I thought the Louvre was I'd like a ski. I'd go somewhere. Oh, okay. I'd go somewhere. What's in like Louvre? Louvre is. That's, a, that's you sitting. Louvre is like when you go to a party and they put beer down like the no. ice thing and it comes down. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> but it's also an Olympic sport. <laughs> the Louvre. <laughs> well, which one came first? I definitely Uh, think it'd be more fun just to get a historian slash geography person on the podcast. And they don't no, they don't say a word until we say something wrong. And then they they press a buzzer. Yeah, we're like, no. We should do like we should do a historian thing. Like, let's talk about like uh, uh, what's his name, Hilta the Hun or Milta the Hun. You mean Attila the Hun? Attila the Hun. (laughs) Until the hunt, let's talk Until about him. Let's talk. We did talk. I don't know anything about him. Let's right for this, it. I know a good bit about American wait, wait, wait. history, but nothing. How else. many? How many people do you think that person like uh, has put on this earth? What? What do you mean put on this earth? Like, what are you children saying? Children or killed? Children. Two hundred. No. Look up right now. Five hundred. Like, Hilta the Hun. Attila. How, Hilta Attila, the Hun. Attila the Hun. Oh wait, is, is that the thing? Is that the? Yes. Is that the That's guy that killed so many people? Yeah. Wait, he, are we talking he, about killed or burned? No, he killed a lot of people and he birthed a lot of people. Oh. Look up. Well, children. he didn't birth yeah, anybody. Didn't birth <laughs> well, you know, it is, it is Wait, something is, to think about. He's from the, uh, uh, um, what's, uh, what's the... I mean, I don't know if that's the right person. Yeah, he is the famous hunter. He's the one that killed he's millions of people. Yeah. I have no idea. Six. The one you're thinking of. 
He's killed six people. No, he had he had six kids. He's no, six that's not kids. who I'm talking about. He's wild. Hilt, he's in my Hilt to the Hun. Um, if this is actually if there's a real person called Hilt to the Hun, <laughs> I will apologize to you. There's not. Uh, hold on. He's it was like, you're talking about Hakuna Matata. <laughs> no. Sorry. Hakuna oh, Jack Matumbo. Sparrow. Jack didn't land. Jack Sparrow. I mean, like, come on, man. That's too soon. Yeah, dude, come on. Let's not, let's not talk about that. He ruthlessly ruled for eight years. Dual, do eight with, years? He it's ruthlessly... Not, not, Attila the Hun. I'm talking about this guy that he ruled ruthlessly, for like 90 years. He ruthlessly That's ruled not, for eight years, during yeah. which an estimated three million citizens, civilians were massacred. That's nothing. This guy This guy That's killed... nothing. This guy killed yeah, three million people. I mean, this guy killed almost charity a billion compared people. To this guy. I think you're, you're thinking of folk, it, folklore. Yeah, this is not folklore. No one's killed a billion people. Attila the Hun. Pretty much. No. Where did you find this information? Attila the Hun's on the 10 most ruthless leaders of all time. Did you get that from yeah. a night at the museum? Well, he you might, are he number the, one. It, there's no other Hun. There's no way. You're there's no other Hun. Of Attila the Hun. Like it's how, not a Hun. How could you it's say Hilt of the Hun? And Attila think, the Hun of course, is literally <laughs> number one. Of course it's Attila the no. Hun that you were thinking of. This is not who I'm thinking of. What's, what is a Hun? Genghis if you, Khan? If you don't mind that, me asking. Genghis Khan might be it. brutal. It might have been That might be him. Look up Genghis Khan children. Like Genghis Grill. Look up Genghis Khan children. Oh boy! How many? So many. Uh, four so sons. S- oh man, four sons, dude! Holy what? Cow. Hit the jackpot! Right no, there. right there. One in two hundred men are direct descendants of Genghis. That Kong. doesn't mean how many. It just means they were alive means, a long time ago. That doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. How? What? One of two hundred men right now. Look at how many people he had kids. What was the population at the time? Well, one of but like that now. just means people keep passing down. So like, no, ten percent of could, the men who that could literally, in the Brody, that could literally Mongolia. mean that his no, son had all you. the children. I'm, no. I'm going to find <laughs> like, it. They'll tell you this is the guy. This is the guy. I'm just saying, like, just because they're descendants of him doesn't mean he's the one that had a bunch of kids. No, it could mean did. that his kids had a bunch. I'm of kids. Telling yeah. you, he did. It got to the point where we were trying to do the math of how many times he would have to like. What, it was a lot a year, like almost three times a day. Wow. His success rate was unprecedented, apparently. <laughs> I don't know if this... I don't know if this... Uh, I don't know if this Very is. fertile guy. <laughs> Genghis... How do you spell his name? Genghis Grill. Did Genghis Grill. Khan have daughters? I Genghis Grill. I hope not. Genghis Grill. Actually, Genghis Khan is my father. 500? My Does that sound more father. like it? No, dude. What's a concubine? Yeah, dude, What's a concubine? a concubine? A concubine is like a mistress. Yeah. Okay, so this guy had eight wives and 500 concubines. Are you sure you're not talking about? I just <laughs> Genghis Khan had six <laughs> Mongolian <laughs> wives. Yeah. Genghis Khan had six Mongolian wives and over five hundred concubines. I now, think Solomon had two hundred wives and seven hundred concubines. No, oh, get lit. So, um, no, no, it's Solomon Genghis makes Khan. Genghis Khan look like Genghis, nothing. So Gen- if you had five hundred concubines, then yeah, I mean the kids thing is starting to make sense. Came from humble beginnings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, okay, humble beginnings. Did he know their well, names? Oh, so it just says that genetics estimate that 16 million men alive today are genetic descendants of Genghis Khan, but it, does, it never says how many kids he had. That's so crazy just, though that he had that many descendants. You have to have so many kids. Well, no, for he that also to he killed so many people. No, you, bro, and then he repopulated you if you're, his okay, little area for with you a few to be kids. be a descendant of him, it could literally mean that his kids were the ones that had a lot of kids. No one even has to have a lot of kids. <laughs> really? If you killed enough people, he had which he 500 killed, concubines. He was definitely. But that is, out I mean, and that they're, they're probably popping out, popping out kids like one every single year. So that's like thousands of kids. He probably had at least a kid every year, at least. Yeah. Definitely no, he of. definitely had more. That's what I'm saying. At le- I'm saying at least, but there's no way what he had less. At least he was. He I'm had like, five statement. Least. That's I'm a correct statement. That's a correct statement. I feel like we're saying the same argument right now. <laughs> He's saying he had at least one kid. Yeah, that so is no, more than one. This is exactly that what I is said. ridiculous thing listen, to say. Listen, <laughs> he didn't have that many kids. <laughs> How many kids do you think he had? Figures here? vary. Probably like Khan. fifty. No, that's at least listen, one. <laughs> listen, <laughs> Genghis Khan killed twenty to forty million people, which was ten percent of the world's population at the time. This isn't helping your case. Look at that. Because he killed. 10% of the world's population at the time. Yeah, it's Because he didn't have to have that many kids to make where the population nowadays all have a bunch of di- yeah. direct correlation to him. No, I know. Because well, he, he did. killed 10% well, of saying, people that lived. He wiped out a bunch of people. He killed and- 10% of the people alive? Yeah, this guy yeah, is this a guy oh Thanos, bro. God. What the heck? <laughs> this guy, as I said, 3 million is nothing. That's crazy. Yeah, 20 yeah. to 40 million people. 10% that's what of I'm the saying. world's that population. Possible? So that's why like most people have... When they say he this was did the it. This was the greatest <laughs> ruler of all time. Or the, the worst ruler. Well, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying yeah. like, the fact that he greatest had this power, power yeah. for this long... That's crazy. Insane. 
Genghis Khan, dude. The if you search Genghis, Genghis Khan children, grumpy. though, Genghis Khan only, is kind of a douchebag. The only number, <laughs> the only number out there. Okay, here's an article that says how many children did Genghis Khan really have? Here we go. Here we go. This, this is, is real the facts. This is the real facts. The hard truth. Come on. So how many real children? Facts with Thomas. Real facts with Hunter Genghis Thomas. Genghis Khan spread is seen. Okay, spread is, is seen. I just keep seeing like 500 <laughs> women. <laughs> I don't like that phrase. <laughs> He spread a seed. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> so, yes, this just says a seed was spread. <laughs> 2003, as many as 16 million men alive were directly li- direct line of descendants. This doesn't mean nine kids. Researcher found the ample surprise that one in 200 males alive suggested they had indicators. That is what Brody said. But he it still doesn't say how many kids he had. Uh, we're just saying. They're just, Genghis they had- Khan only recognize, is only recognized for his four sons by his first wife. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure he yeah. wants. It's it's the whole thing in the king thing of where it's like you have. What is it called? What do you call when you Con- uh, concubines? Um, what are you saying? No, I think it's actually the B word, isn't it? Oh, what? what? Yeah, yeah. Like whenever you don't have a father. When you have like yeah, you're when you have wedlock, when you're like when you're a king yeah, and yeah. you go and you have a kid with some like peasant woman, yes. that's your child. Yes. That's yes. your yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't. If you watch Game of Thrones, it's a very common thing of like they don't want that person to have. The lineage, yeah. So, so of course, makes, he he's had only at have least five sons. Or he whatever. had at Good least point. a few hundred kids for sure. Good if he point. had that many concubines, ah, I said, Brody, you need to understand what the phrase he "at least" means. Can you just say on. at least twenty? He to had five hundred. I said a few hundred. Hear me out. He had at least five hundred concubines. Who oh knows? wait, wait, wait. What do you mean at least? He, who knows? <laughs> who knows how many more women that he just slept with that weren't actually a concubine? No, okay. For years. For fifty years, I know. I'm with you. I'm saying he had uh, you guys are at least right now. a few You're hundred more dramatic kids. Than Connor. <laughs> no, I said he had at least a few hundred kids, meaning that like very Here's bare the minimum. Here's bare the thing. Minimum. Bare minimum five hundred kids. Yeah, a few hundred. Okay, five hundred. Yeah, bare, bare well, you minimum. You also were at point saying he at least had <laughs> one. Okay, but here's the thing. Writing. Here's the thing. His eldest son Tushi is reported to have Tushi. Tushi. He's reported to have forty sons. Now we're Who's talking. Who's having a kid with Tushi? Tushi, Tushi's recognized to have 40 <laughs> sons, whereas Khan's only recognized that four. Loser. Oh, that means he had 40 sons with his actual wife. Yeah. So think about how Gosh, many you're having with concubines. Dang. Yeah, I know. That poor I'm woman. with you, Brody. No, we're on the same page. She's just not woman. understanding me. Genghis Khan had six wives. Oh, that's true. They have mm. multiple wives that they're yeah, recognized. They're also yeah. only recognized sons. So he back was then. only recognized. So there's for no the... telling how many daughters. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. I, we're all on the same I page, Brody. I don't You're think not, so. Well, well, I we think, are. My thing. You think, all were a great beer, berry I reefing think, across the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I think Genghis Khan had a lot less children than Brody thinks. I said at least five hundred. I said at least five hundred. I don't know about that. The dude is just having sex with women over hundreds of women every year for crazy fifty reason. years. It's not a crazy thing, but yeah. you originally were saying not a crazy you were saying reason. like one of two hundred men. Talking like millions. One of two hundred men is a descendant <laughs> he from this 10% person. Killed ten percent of the population. At no, the time. he said millions of people he killed. Yeah, so he, he killed ten percent right of the. Yeah, I was right. Ten percent. I can't get though. over that. There's, There's so he killed ten percent of the population. So not dip. How many? What is ten percent of the population right now? Uh, was that 700 million? 700 million. Let's yeah. have Genghis right? Kong on the show. Or you know, just ask him. Yeah, or let's descendant. Let's get, let's get a descendant of Genghis Kong. Yeah, it could like, hey, be you. Why? It can't be that hard to I find. You're yeah, defending him so much. It it you. Let's just yeah. go out on the street and point at somebody. It's probably a descendant. <laughs> let's get 200 people in here. One of them will be a descendant. It's like, it's like <laughs> one of those videos. Find out who's the descendant. It's like, which person in the room is the descendant of Genghis Khan? Like, so, uh, <laughs> this has got to be the most insensitive. Like, Surely this is insensitive podcast topic. No, because it's been so long ago. I don't know. I, I, I know. I'm just saying. I, I don't think, think it he, is, but like, I bet it is. Is Probably. it? I don't think he targeted. Well, yeah, it he's Mongolian. Is, yeah, but he didn't. They I make great he, beef. I don't think he necessarily. Dang. That was. <laughs> 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 what? That's a that's a dish. Mongolian beef. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could go for some. Yeah. Well, you we were talking like, about you Genghis Khan. How many cart. kids he had? You had the food court at at the mall. Yeah. Free samples. Yeah. Boom. All right. Well, there we go. Well, Genghis Khan had a lot of kids. Genghis we won't Khan put a allegedly at least one a year. He had Genghis Khan had four kids that are recognized as Genghis Khan's kids. Are you going to recognize all your children? Yes. Okay. Well, I only have one son right now, so I don't have to worry. Do you about recognize him? him? Yeah. Does he recognize you yet? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dang. Yeah. How do you know it's not Genghis Khan's? It's true. It's true. <laughs>